Hello everyone, this is me, Girdi Nasim. Now we will discuss the caste and history. It's second chapter that is nationalism in India. So, if you want to look for chapter one, go to the previous chapter, class nine and ten history. There you get chapter number one that is uh, rise of nationalism in Europe. So, I hope you are doing well. So, let's start with this chapter number second that is nationalism in India. Here uh, we will discuss about what are the different type of revolt and revolutionary act happen in India through the question solution. Let's um, move on to the question section without wasting any time. Oh, it's trendy to work. So let's move on to the question number one: Why growth of nationalism in the colonies linked to anti? colonial movement so in this one you can write up uh, colonization affected um, people's freedom and uh, nationalist sentiments so it's during the process of struggle against imperial uh, domination the sense of oppression and exploitation became a common bond for people from different walks of life and this uh, resulted in the growth of nationalist idols this growth of nationalism in the colonies linked to anti national movement as well as you can write here about uh, like uh, in India uh, example like in India as in Vietnam and many other colonies the growth of modern nationalism is intimately connected to anti-colonial movement like people begin discovering their unity in the process of their struggle with colonialism the sense of being oppressed under colonialism provide a shared bond that I have said earlier also that tied many different groups together then second is how did uh, first world war have been growth of national movement in india so in this one you can write uh, the european power considered their culture more civilized modern and superior they forcefully started imposing their culture on the colonies this also basically lead uh, to the that nationalism feeling among people as well as um, during the world war a british army conducted forced recruitment from rural area in india to finance the defense expenditure high custom duties and income taxes were imposed also during uh, 1918 1919 and 2021 crops uh, fail in many part of india thereby resulting in a cure of food shortage all this caused extensive anger and opposition against the British colonial rule and the national movement of India headed toward a stronger, more definitive direction. Why Indian were outraged uh, by the revolt, uh, Rollet Act. So, here you can write like Mm, Rollet Act was um, passed through Imperial Legislative Council on report of the Sedition Committee headed by Justice Rollet Dam. It was the Black Act which gave the government and police to repress political activities and allow detention of political prisoners without trial of, uh, for two years. The Act was passed despite the United Opposition in a number of councils. This Act became one of the factors due to which Gandhiji launched non cooperation movement as well as um, Rollet Act as I said uh, passed by through the Imperial Legislative Council because uh, there were opposition from Indian number because this act gave the government autocratic power to repress political activities and detain anyone without trial so for two years the Indian were outraged by this act and it was clearly democratic and oppressive and hurt national sentiment and dignity Next is why Gandhiji decided to withdraw the National Cooperation Movement, that NCM. So there are various uh, reasons like the movement was turning violent at Chauri Chaura in Gorakhpur, a peaceful demonstration in a bazaar turned into a violent clash in which more than 20 policemen were killed then. Gandhiji felt that Satyagrahi needed to be properly trained before they would uh, be ready for mass struggle. Then within the Congress, some leaders were tired of mass struggle and wanted to participate in election to the Provincial Council, which <coughs> was set up under the Government of India in 1919, then 
industries were copies and etc interpreted the term swaraj in their own way at any places like that of uh, and pradesh leaders like alori sitaram and raju said that india could be liberated only by the use of force but their uh, values were not approved by congress then as well as main uh, main region was at uh, chori chora incident in 1992 where people clashed with police and setting up a police station on fire gandhi ji felt that uh, the people were not yet ready like i said for a mass struggle and um, satyagraha needed to properly train for non violent demonstration that could be the reason that was the reason actually what is mean by the idea of satyagraha so satyagraha was a novel method of mass agitation the idea of satyagraha emphasized upon the power of truth and the need to search for truth it suggested that if the cause was true and if the struggle was against injustice then physical force was not necessary to fight the oppressor even through non violent method a satyagraha could appeal the concise of oppressor by the power of truth which was bound to win as well as um, uh, in detail you can write few more points like it was a non violent method of mass agitation like i said then it emphasizes the power of truth then i said oh, it suggested that if cause was true so the struggle was again injustice there is no need for physical force and people including the oppressor had to persuade to see the truth instead of being forced to accept the truth through the world so by the struggle truth was bound to victorious like i said then um, third is right to uh, newspaper report on jaliwala uh, jaliwala bag massacre so um i'll tell you what was happened and this incident a public meeting was announced for the 13th april 1919 or at jaliwala bag amritsar to protest against the royal attack the people were allowed to assemble there after they had gathered there in thousands journal would i march there with armed corps and troops without giving any warning to the people to disperse the ordered firing on the unarmed and peaceful people the casualties among the indians were very heavy the i was purpose in doing so was to produce a moral effect to create in the mind of satyagrahi a feeling of terror um, this massacre of innocent people in thousands in thousands converted mahatma gandhi into a non cooperator cause um, why because when people gathered there to celebrate uh, that annual baisakhi fair because people were unaware of the imposition of martial law in the city so journal were like blocked the exit point from the bag and opened the an open fire upon the nation citizens the intention was to like i said produce more the effect so hundred of people uh, including women children were killed and wounded uh, by this this led to nationwide outrage and jaliwala bag incident was the most brutal incident in the history of india simon commission so simon commission you can wrote like uh, Uh, Simon Commission was constituted by the third uh, government in Britain under Sir John Simon. The objective of the commission was to look into the functioning of the constitutional system in India and suggest some constitutional changes. But nationalist and India opposed the Simon Commission because it had not a single Indian member. Therefore, when the Simon Commission arrived in India in 1928, it was greeted with slogan "Go back, Simon!" All parties, including Congress and Muslim League participated in the demonstration because not even a single Indian member represented it. That's why Indian boycotted it. As well as like um, Indians boycotted Simon Commission because as I said there was no Indian member in this, so the term of the commission's appointment did not give any indication of Swaraj. While the demand. of the indians was only swaraj day for the indian national congress muslim league and other part they decided to oppose the simon commission various methods they used like for opposing like indian people organized at all all over the country they also had a black flag demonstration with the slogan go men say go simon go back with the commission raised bombay such demonstration were held everywhere it went then fourth is uh, Compare the image of Bharat Mata in this chapter with the image of Somalia in chapter one. 
So the image of uh, Germania was the symbol of German nation, whereas the image of Bharat Mata was the symbol of Indian nation. The second point is both images inspired nationalists who worked very hard to unify their respective countries and to attain a liberal nation. Then the image of Bharat Mata is different from that of Germania in the sense that former reflect the religious basis uh, of its making. The image of Bharat Mata painted by Aurobindranath Tagore is best stored with learning. Um, feud, clothing and some aesthetic quality. Also another painting of uh, Bharat uh, Mata in which we find <coughs> Mata holding Trishul and standing beside a lion on an elephant, symbol of power and, and uh, ethos. So this, uh, I was discussing like a uh, this image appeared to be more akin to the image of Germania where she hold a sword and a shield. Then we move on to the discussion. You have to write these questions of the more explain in detail form than the above one. List all the different social groups which were in the non-cooperation movement of 1921 and then choose any three and write about their hopes and struggle to show why they joined the movement. So the different social group that joined the nation cooperation movement of 1991 were the urban middle class comprising lawyer, teacher, headmaster, student, thief, and travel worker. Then middle class joined the movement because the boycott of foreign goods would make the sale of their textile and hand looms go up. Then the uh, peasant took part in the movement because they hoped they would be saved from oppressive landlord high taxes taken by the colonial government then plantation worker took part in agitation hoping they would uh, get uh, their right to move freely in and outside uh, the plantation and get land in other villages and get land in their own villages as well as wherever they want so let me explain few more in detail like middle class how they oppose like so they boycott of uh, council election as well as they basically, NCM had a great impact on Indian textile industry. So they say good, especially cloth got a great impetus. Foreign goods were bicotted, liquor shop picked, and foreign clothes born in huge bonfires. And what was the impact on industries like in uh, many places, merchant and trader refused to trade in foreign goods or finance foreign trade due to this demand of Indian textile meals and handloom went out. So then last point is movement in countryside the people in countryside interpreted the idea of Swaraj in their own way where they participated in the movement on large scale in Awadh peasant launched the movement against the Talukdar and landlords whereas the plantation worker launched the movement against the tea and state owners so this then uh, peasant in rural area how they participated they basically like I have said example of Awadh it was Baba Ramchand Sanyasi who had uh, earlier being freezy as an indentured labor. Ruler people also participated. There are various ways of protest like the movement in countryside has a different angle. Like in many places, Naido Bay Bans were organized by Panchayat to deprive the landlord of the service of barber, cobbler, washerman, etc. Even national leader like Jawaharlal Nehru went to villages in Awadh to know the grievances of the people. By October, the Awadh Kisan Sabha were set up and headed by Jawala Nehru, Baba Ram Chandra, and a few others. When the movement spread in 1921, the houses of Talukdar and Manchin were attacked. The movement on violent, which was not liked by some of the Congress leaders, then in tribal people, like uh, there was a uh, government had put uh, several restrictions on the people that lived in the tribal area, basically. Uh, restriction like closing large forest area for tribal people, forcing the local people to contribute bigger, then preventing people from entering the forest to create the cattle or to collect fewer and fruits. So, all these things which I have discussed, they just uh, all these steps that the uh, government put restriction in the tribal area, all this step increased the hill people, not only uh, were their livelihood affected, but they felt that the traditional right were also being denied. Then I'll talk about plantation work also. Let's move on to the next question. Discuss the salt march to make clear why it was an effective symbol of resistance against colonism. So, in this one you can write, the salt march was an effective uh, symbol of resistance against colonism because it was done in 
revolt against a community salt used by rich and other poor alike the tax on salt and the government monopoly over it uh, production was a severely oppressive administrative move the salt march was effective also because gandhi ji met a large number of commoners during the march and he taught them the true meaning of swaraj and nonviolence by peacefully defying a law making salt uh, against commoners gandhi ji set forth an example to the whole nation of how the oppressor could be confronted in a nonviolent manner This also led the civil disobedience uh, uh, obedience movement in 1930. As well as in detail form, you can write in step by step. Like um, it was the first time that Indian leader decided to violate law. People were not asked not only to face cooperation with British but also to break colonial laws. As there is thousands of Indian different part of the country broke the salt law, manufactured salt and demonstrated in uh, in front of the government factories and movement spread. Boycott of foreign clothes. All these things happen. All this you can write. The next is imagine you are a woman participating in the CDM. Explain what the experience meant to your life. So women participated in large number in the CDM. During the movement, thousands of women came out of their homes to listen to Gandhi ji. They participated in protest march, manufactured shawl and picked foreign clothes in liquor shops. Many were. put to jail by the police moved by gandhi ji called they begin to see a uh, service to the nation as a great duty of a woman and then next is uh, why did political leaders differ sharply over the question of separate electorate so in this one you can write down by the system of separate uh, electorate we mean such a system when people of one religion only vote for a candidate of their own religion you see such a system was a mischief of the british government who wanted to divide uh, the people to weaken the nation more than by doing so the british wanted to prolong their stay in india the different political leader differed over the question of separate electorates because of the various reason like congress uh, leader opposed the policy of british government in instigating different people and demanding separate electorate they know well that it was all the mischief of the british government who encouraged different people to ask for separate electorates because such a policy would weaken the national movement and prolong british stay in india the congress leader were one and all in favor to join electorate then other like uh, Muslim leader like Muhammad Iqbal and Mr. Jinnah you know, asked for separate electorate to safeguard the political interest of the uh, Muslims. In their opinion, the majority of the people were Hindu, and so in case um, of joint electorate, the Muslim would have little chance of winning the seats. As such, they would always be at the mercy of Hindu, if not that. So, then the leader of depressed classes, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, also asked for separate electorate because in the joint electorate, he feared the dominance. of upper electorate or the upper caste upper caste in those in the election by the phone act he however agreed to have a joint electorate with the hindus provided the seats for the different classes of fixed or reserved in the provincial and central legislative council so here outcome was like that lord erwin announced in october when the awake offer of dominant status for india this you can write so that was this chapter all about we have discussed from the point of view of muslim league from the press classes from other um, congress as well as uh, gandhi ji's point was that gandhi ji thought that separate layer would further slow down the process of their integration into society Also, it was clear that system of separate electorate would gradually divide the country into numerous fragments because every community or class would then ask for separate representation. That was the thought of Gandhi ji. So we have discussed thought of uh, Muslim League on this separate electorate, then depressed classes, uh, then Congress as a whole in discuss the view of Gandhi ji also. so that's for today in the next lecture we will talk about next chapter of class 10 is true so till then just go through this video on i will make next video like as early as possible thank you